Hey guys, it's Kralos. Welcome back everybody to Anno 1800. Just sit back, relax and enjoy. And if you guys do enjoy this, make sure to give this video a like and also do leave some nice feedback in the comment section. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the fourth episode in Anno Anno closed beta playthrough and so far I am absolutely loving it. You guys seem to enjoy it, so thank you so 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 much for the amazing support. And you know what? Just take a peek at this and embrace. Look at the market building, look at the pub. Look how lively it is, all those animations, all that detail work. I'm such a nerd, but this is just fantastic. But in the previous episode of Anno 1800, the city or island of Liquic has received their first artisans. Here they are. I would say not too shabby, but those guys come with demands, okay? They require canned food, don't have that. Sewing machines don't have that. Fur coats don't have that. University? No. And what makes them happy in life? Flowers for the lady, beer makes them happy. That kind of makes me happy in life as well. But we don't have that. Rum, don't have. Theater, I guess we can poop them down. But you know what? I want to do something else in today's episode. Those guys will have to wait. Oh, by the way, in the previous episode, we did this as well. The smog-filled zone. To some people, this might be terrible. To me, it is beautiful. Because seeing all those chimneys and pollution means one thing. Money. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. This is this is fairly terrible, but at the same time, it's quite beautiful. So I am not your uncle. So in this facility over here, we're currently producing cannons. This one here is our iron smelter. We're making iron ingots. Those ingots are taken to this facility over here and this facility over here, and we are producing some steel beams, which I believe we are full on. Yeah, pretty much so. <laughs> Damn smug. <laughs> <laughs> Deal with it, lady. But I've just noticed this. We do have a town carnival, and I see it. No freaking way. And confetti is being thrown. I guess my people are fairly happy. <laughs> Look at this Congo train of people. This is, this is nice. This is so nice to see. And how about what is this even? Festival duration 37 minutes, festival attractiveness 250, happiness 40, provide needs, increase visits by 100%. Okay, you know what? We're gonna get back to that. It's fairly nice to see, especially the confetti just being thrown all over the place. But the most exciting thing which happened in the previous episode was this. We have reached the new world. And I even dreamt about it, so I guess the artisans and their needs, they will have to wait. Because I just want to set up a beautiful community here on the island and just explore all the bits and pieces around here. And also, where was it? Okay, so we do have the shipwreck over here, and there was something. There it is. Something is hiding in the mist. So we will find out what that is. But first things first. Let's go back. Oh, by the way, what is this? The pirate hunt. Dry planes. Captain's recommendations. Naval power. Force most are highly likely. Medicine likely. Pirate treasures. And I did see something over here as well. What is that? Winter forest expedition. Artifacts. Temperate Forest Expedition, Artifacts. Like, this is such a neat mechanic in Anno 1800. I, I love that part. So this is really off topic, but I have mentioned my friend Nox a few times in the last month, like in different videos, on Twitter. And by the way, for those who follow him on Twitter, you know, like he's deep inside like this tender conspiracy. And uh, with help of some of you guys and a few Discord servers who follow the puzzles, for example, the Grim Reaper, which is like over 60,000 members, the mystery is slowly unfolding. They even set up like Viki pages, dedicated channels to keep the investigation going. And I'm going to put the links in the description for those who are interested. But with that being said, this is all the markers of a massive ARG, like hidden phone number, live draw, puzzle, fake company, and much more. And also, ARG stands for Alternate Reality Game, which is basically an immersive campaign which involves investigating the real world with hidden clues that might reveal like a sneak peek of an upcoming movie, TV series, or even a game. And some of them have been absolutely huge, up to like half a million players around the world teaming up and getting to the bottom of the mystery. One good example of an ARG is how Mr. Robot took over San Diego Comic Con with a fake e -Corp bank, where people could open an account and get e and during that weekend, even some stores start to accept eCoin as payment for food and drinks. But, uh, but in general, there are some cool exclusive rewards or even like collectible items in an ARG. So if you don't want to miss out on the, on the current mystery, here is the main rabbit hole to help you start. First of all, join tenderbeta.com and sign up for the newsletter. This is the site which started it all. Also, follow Nox on Twitter because he publishes all the latest puzzles. And one of the latest puzzles revealed the following image, by the way. So all I can say is check out the links in the description and good luck, everybody. Maybe 
in your first ARG. It is, it is big. That's what she said. Okay, you know what? Let's move over to this side. And what I'm going to do over here, I'm going to build myself two more of the ship harbors if I can squeeze them in. Uh, sailing shipyards, I mean. Let's go one and two, because we're going to need a crap ton of ships going back and forth to the, to the new world. At least we need some uh, naval power, because because uh, uh, Xing Xing here, she's, she's not happy. Oh no! Well, doesn't matter. Hopefully the newspaper is good enough. Uh, Bente, Bente over here, she doesn't have any problem with us about server. Uh, Yuri Gagari no Gasparov over here, he's fairly fine. But Xing Xing, no happy. So she's going to be attack us very, very soon. So we need to some, uh, some military vessels to be created. So let's get those two guys over here. And on this side, let's figure out how we want to have it. I guess what we could do, temporarily remove this. Um, um, Okay, bra brace yourselves. Let's delete this, let's delete that, let's delete this. Let's do some tweaks, I guess. See if we can make this a little bit nicer. I highly doubt we can, but if I could maybe move this guy forward a little bit like that. That kind of looks nice. And then placing the morning ports just off here. We also have the repair crane and the pier, which kind of serves as an extra loading dock, I believe. But let's get this morning. Can we? Oh, okay. So the tourists are going to be arriving in our beautiful community. <laughs> the thing is, our community ain't that beautiful. We need more. We need more stuff. We need more parks and and just uh, ornaments all over the place. But for the moment, this would be an excellent spot for a base camp. Hi. Okay. You know what, Benty? Hold that thought. Let's go with mosquito. Is it mosquito? No. Earl of Sandwich, <laughs> which by the way, I love the name. Earl of Sandwich, you go over here. I'm not sure where Bent is, is trying to, to settle, okay? But I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna load the uh, Earl of Sandwich with uh, planks or timber, that is. And I'm gonna get some of the steel beams as well. And then I'm gonna sail. Uh, uh, Mosquito, escort Earl of uh, Sandwich. We're gonna go and settle this island over here, and then we're gonna start accepting uh, their their like demands. Cause for this for this moment, I just need the hop uh, fertility and maybe the red pepper. And this is mainly to start the production of beer. Unexpected. Crap, Benty! I was about to say yes, and then you do this to me right in my face. Okay, it is what it is. It is what it is. But this, on the other hand, is quite a thing. It's a little bit like Santa Monica Pier, but a little bit different. There's a lot of welcome, welcome and welcome to absolutely nothing, but uh, <laughs> you more than welcome, I guess. How about this? Do we tweak this somehow? I guess maybe add, maybe add one more of those guys. Like that? Delete that, delete that. Can I just, can I do this little thing over here? You might be but, but why? I don't know. And on this side, we can add ourselves, maybe, a repair crane. Facing... I don't know, facing outwards, inwards, sideways. Let's just face it like that. Boom, how's the range on that? I guess that is fairly huge. Okay, delete that. That kind of looks ridiculous. I don't know. I think it looks a little bit better, I guess. And uh, what else can we do? Do we want to have something on this side? I guess we could take out... Uh, hmm, I was thinking of it. Just grab this guy and take him out further. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then we can have a little small, like, I don't know what this is, even. A small thing. Like that, yeah, that kind of looks nice. Those guys are gonna go ra ta 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 Yeah, go ra ta 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 Over like this. No way! No way, ladies and gentlemen, the first tourists have just arrived. In our beautiful island of Liquic. Uh, maybe nobody arrived. Yes, they did arrive. See another biscuit. Get some rest. It's going to be a long voyage. Do they even have access? Maybe, oh, maybe we need to build some roads for those guys. Uh, nice roads for those guys, because they deserve the best. Around. Oh no! Look at this guy. What was this? Oh, this is the newspaper guy. This over here, I believe this is the newspaper guy taking pictures of new harbors for the newspaper. Maybe not, I don't know. Maybe it is. Fabled lands. What, what is happening, Captain? Rescue mission. Specialists, goods, machines and consumables. Okay, we need more ships. 
Captain, hold that thought, okay? Because uh, this is set up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use to see if those guys will be going towards our town or they just turn. They, they'd be like, no, this town pretty much sucks. Hopefully not. How about now? 759. Ladies and gentlemen, it's, uh, it's something, okay? I'm gonna upgrade a few of those guys as well. That is gonna be the, the workers' residence. Let's go like that. And that should do it for the moment. But the main question is over here. In the shipyard, which we might even place on the other side as well. But uh, let's make one clipper. Let's make one clipper. Uh, hit points 2500, upkeep 175, cargo slots 4. Navigation is 20. Okay, and then in this guy, I'm gonna make myself the ship of the line. Hit points 4000, damage per second 53. It is Going super costly in upkeep boy. 250, but the naval power is 50. In case of Qing Qing attacks, we're gonna be prepared, okay? Let's make ship of the line. It's gonna take uh, 15 minutes to build. I can't get enough of my own carnival. The celebrate a good leader, which is moi. And they are so happy. That will change. One day. But for the moment, let's just take it in. An Earl of Sandwich has just reached the shoreline of our new island. So let's uh, go somewhere to the middle, like a soul. Please do over here. Yes! The island of Camford. So now we have Liquid and Camford. <laughs> okay. Arthur Kasparov, thank you so much. I'm honored, okay? So now, now what we can do is accept those people when they have requests. And hopefully the the, the reputation won't go down further. 28, 20 on Xingxing and 31 on Arthur Kasparov over here. And Harlow, which I still haven't found anywhere on the map. She might be hiding in the mist over here. I mean, this is, that is Arthur, right? That is uh, Archibald. That is Eli, my good friend. Do you sell something amazing over here? You wanna roll one more time? Boom! One or eight. Headmistress for school education. Okay, one more time. Boom! Okay, I don't wanna waste more cash. Let's go... Let's go to... Over here. No, 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 no. Where's Mosquito at? Mosquito is uh, convoying she's the small, Earl Sandwich. She's yeah, she's small, but she looks beautiful. Look, look at the uh, ta -ta 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 machines here in the front. No, it's actually a howitzer, I believe, right? Let's sail with the mosquito to this area over here. I will try to find Anne Harlow somewhere about. But with that being done, let's move out. Let's move to the new world. Let's see what we can do over here. And uh, I'm all excited, and I really can't hide it. So... Um, Endeavor. Let's just build a port over here, like a soul. I'm here! I have arrived! And you, you'll be sent. First, over here. Just gonna see what this uh, this shipwreck is all about. Maybe we can do something with it. But, um, welcome to the island of uh, Belo Vertical, I think it's pronounced. And, um, what do we have on Belo Vertical? We have uh, plantain, fertility, sugarcane, we have cotton, we have corn, we have cocotacotacotoc, like that's coconut something, and then coffee fertility. So that is not bad whatsoever. What do we have for wildlife? Oh my goodness, it's, I see parrots? No way. Okay, I'm leaving the new world. New world, I will be back very, very soon, because there's a ship being constructed here. And which one is that? Is that the clipper, you think? Uh... Yes, it is. Okay, so this ship is a ship which is going to be sailing in the seven seas on expeditions. Maybe we could even join in with the ship of the line as a convoy or an escort ship. Sea Sponge. What a fantastic name on our ship. Sea Sponge. It is huge. And it is mine. I, I'm speechless, man. There's so much stuff going on. And just imagine, like, playing far away, you don't see that, but you really zoom in. They've done, uh, they've done, I don't know, magic work on this game so far. Let's just leave that, let's go back to the new world. So what do we have? We do have parrots, we do have, I believe, oil fields, yes indeed. And how about the deposits on the island? That is gold? That is gold? Lady?
Ladies and gentlemen, we've struck both the black gold and the yellow gold. This is a gold deposit. Do we have any more? Gold and gold. Well, I be darned. There's a lot of gold deposits, a lot of parrots, and a lot of oil fields. I love the Americas. They look really nice. But anyhow, it's no time to waste. Let's go. Where is our base? Uh, there it is. This is the warehouse. And what do we do? Well, first of all, we do a road. But what can we build? Marketplace Jornalero residence. Okay. Uh, small warehouse timber. Fried plantain. Trade union and rum. Rum production chain. Okay. Let's do a road. And uh, as usual, let's just go from about here all the way across. You might be but 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 no buts. We've got this. We got pretty much the same design as we've done. A little bit different, maybe a little bit more like uh, compressed. Let's go to about the far end and let's turn that around. And by the way, the marketplace is the same size. Marketplace. Uh, that is a road cross. There we go. I guess that is pretty much the same size. But however, it looks different. Shing shing. You may! You're welcome! Plus one! Ching Ching high five, but just plus one for an island? Three, two, and I'm gonna go free free. Uh, a new milestone? Well, spank you! Let's go. Maybe like, like this, and then have a warehouse over here. I know it might be a boring design, but it is a design which proven to work as intended. And look at this. This is like Assassin's Creed uh, Black Flag. We've unlocked ourselves the fried plantain, also the trade union, the small harbor's been unlocked, sales and rum is up next. But we still have 33 planks, and I guess what we could do is maybe make one more row of houses, hopefully we're gonna have enough, uh, and then we're just gonna start a huge production of, uh, of, I guess, the plantain, or however you pronounce that, I'm not really sure what it is, but we will see. And then let's maybe do this road all the way across here. Might be right, but, 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 but no bats. Uh, we're gonna go and may make ourselves some of the, the lumberjack hats. I know it's gonna be a boring design once again, but uh, it is a design which kind of works, I guess. This, 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 this. And I'm gonna do four of them, mainly because the, the lumberjack hats, they take 50 seconds to, to make a log. Those guys take 50 seconds to make a plank, so like having four of, four of each is gonna balance each other out perfectly fine. However, let's okay. Newspaper first. We have taken to calling you the master among many other complimentary monikers. I am the master. I am the captain. Okay, company settles in tropics. That's perfect. Utterly hopeless. Beer. But man, I'm working on beer. Ship constructed. And the biggest ship of them all is just constructed. That's perfect. I need to edit this. This, you know what? Fake news all, all over the place. Construction tax propaganda. Invest now, please. Vast fleet constructed. I mean, that's kind of like a pointless, pointless article. Doesn't give us much, but uh, okay, you know what? Publish. High five. Yes, because uh, I am. I am the captain. Let's delete this and place ourselves a warehouse. Whereabouts? Okay, we can delete can all that. For any fines I make. To about here. Small warehouse. Spin it around and poop it down. For the moment, at least. Yes, 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 Bente. Such impressive foliage. And yeah. I have you to thank. Yes, indeed. I am, I am the best. You reached a new milestone. Boom, and done it, just in case it burns. And poncho production has been unlocked. Alpaca farms. And poncho darner. And by the way, those guys over here, they need food, right? What do you need? Work is the love of my life. You need market, perfect. You need uh, fried plantains, and you need the ponchos. Okay, so both need that, and okay, we, we will get there. Are you eating fish by any chance for the moment? I don't think you are. Maybe sausages? Kielbasa? Polski kielbasa? No? Okay. But it doesn't matter. I will be right back, because I'm going back to the old world. <laughs> Holy crap. This... Attention for the Admiral. Fortitude has just been created. Or completed, that is. Oh. Oh. My. Goodness. 
Look at the amount of cannons on this. What a ship. I'm, uh, I'm a simple man. And the amount of cannons on this bad boy. He's crazy. What a ship! I let it sail. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna move the the, the clipper to the harbor zone. I'm gonna load it and I'm gonna sell, uh, send it on some type of expedition somewhere about. There's so much people Someone here. But uh, planks are coming in. Planks actually reached the limit of our warehouse capacity. Uh, by the way, can I make more depots? I guess we could maybe squeeze in one over here. Well, how costly is this? Okay, we need bricks. So we might even send uh, send uh, the clipper, the sea sponge over here with some bricks for us. Because I don't, I don't think we can create bricks. Now, can we? Where is Endeavor, by the way? Because I guess we can't do anything here. But let's sail... Let's park it somewhere over here. We'll see what happens. Might be pirates. That would be kind of terrible. But we'll see. But what was I saying? Okay, those guys need food. So let's maybe focus on food to begin with. And that's going to be this guy over here. The fried plantain. Uh, we do require fish oil factories. Okay, that's going to be pretty much like a fishery, I guess. And then plantation. Plantain plantations. Kind of bananas. Uh, and then fried plantain kitchen. Yikes. Okay, so you know what? I'm gonna keep myself some space over here. Let's do one more road. And if I would... Isabel Sarmento. Hi. Do not stand between me and my country's freedom. Isabel? Okay, stop it. Is is you a pirate, Isabel? We never sink a ship if we can take it. No, she she trades. Sugar sugar, cocoa, and sugar cane. She buys weapons. We can set up a weapon trade route to the to the to the new world, and fried plantain. Do you buy that really? Okay, I can trade them. I guess we can make an overkill production that. But I believe I'm I'm allowed to to move closer. <laughs> I'm trying to talk. Man, how beautiful is this? Can you imagine being able to construct cities like this in the game? Wouldn't that be a complete game changer? Just building yourself like a community which looks like this. Oh no, there are a strike over here. Isabel, you're not doing good with your people. You're not going doing good with your people. There are so many ships, however. Welcome more volunteers. Okay, I can buy this ship for 21k. But that's a frigate as well, golden behind. How about on this side? Do we have anything? How beautiful is this? This little thing and this little cove, this little cove, and then a community in between. We do have a mission, but I'm not going to take the mission yet, because uh, I'm in trouble with my people, because it's burning and everything is a little bit a little bit crap over there. Hans, did you come on this journey as well? Hans is German. <laughs> I'm sorry. This, is, this might be one of the most awkward playthrough. Awkwardest playthrough of this game uh, yet. Leave your crate unattended, sir. There's not much gameplay. It's more of a sightseeing through the game. Okay, uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab Endeavor and I'm gonna send Endeavor to this corner, that corner, that corner, and then we go to the middle, right? 128 fields. Okay. And how about the production uh, time on this? Um, let's see here. That is 30 on the oil, 30 on the bananas, and 30 on that. And how big is this guy? Okay, sinking in progress. So I guess this is the guy who, who makes the things, right? So let's do one. Let's do two. Let's do bananas. We're gonna go big or go home. We might even trade with Isabel, okay? And then, fields. You just calm down, sir. Calm down. Okay, that's maybe a little bit of an overkill. <laughs> but, uh, it's, it's bananas. It looks like bananas. But plantation, plantation, I don't know, plantain groove, boom, something like so. So those should balance each other out when it comes to that. We need some fisheries, but uh, how much planks? I can afford more of those guys. Enchanté. If me and my people should misbehave, remember, okay. misbehaving all over. Sean Lafortune, Attention stop it. Is, I believe Sean is one of the, the pirates about here. 
Long live piracy, indeed. There's cannons. Where is his base? Oh, it is over here. <laughs> Look at this. Looks like Atlas, but without the bugs, and it works. All the ships in the harbor. If only people listened, we'd lay down our guns. Pirate frigates. Voyage. Man, look at the cannons on the sides of this guy. What the crap pirate is this? It's a pirate gambo, so you got howitzers mounted on the sides of the ship. Don't waste your effort. I'm Death. such a nerd. <laughs> she really. Holy crap. Big Bertha. Big Betty. This is a Big Betty cannon in the harbor. Look at that, it's like a pirate cove or cave. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get back here very, very soon because this is a nice place. I will become friends one day. Oh no! Endeavor! This is the only ship I've got in the Caribbean. Let's sail for Isabelle. Where is Isabelle? What the crap is this? Oh, it's a pirate monitor. But let's say sail, let's sail south. Hopefully, hopefully nothing bad happens to us. But if I would just get back. But I said, go big or go home. So let's do one more banana plantation. Let's do two of the fried plan plantain kitchens. It is maybe too close to town, by the way. I'm kind of thinking about that. But then again, yeah, we should be fine, right? Okay, it looks a little bit messed up when it comes to the farm. It's not the same orientation, but I simply don't care. So those guys over here, they're chopping bananas, I believe, right? Kind of looks like that, but those guys don't, doesn't have the, the, the oil yet. So we need to think that to begin with. We need to buy, build ourselves a little small warehouse, maybe just somewhere like this. Surround that with a pointless road, boom. Then this goes down, and here we're going to add ourselves... What was it? The, the fish oil factories. Can I do them nicely, maybe somewhere? Okay, we can do... One, this is almost two, but not nice. There we go. We need peoples. We need people that they will get. So let's make more of those houses all over the place. Let's go. Boom. Boom. And boom. Spank you for saving a game, sir. Like that. Do we have enough people? Minus 49, but I guess people still moving in, right? Well, hopefully they are. Maybe screening some houses, houses over here. I'm not sure that's gonna be a thing, but I think it might be. Okay. Boom. Done it. Uh, been a sight. It is still minus 41. That kind of sucks a little bit. If I were to speed this up, what's gonna happen? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, look at all those islands we've just uncovered. What is this? There's like uh, donkeys walking next to the crocodiles. <laughs> what can we use those for? Shoes? Bags? Designer handbags? Like the island generation. Look at the river coming down from the mountain over here. This is pretty much sightseeing with Keralis, and I, I'm truly sorry for that. This is how it's gonna be. <laughs> the islands are magical. We've got this island as well uncovered. I mean, it's a whole new world. Welcome to Jurassic Park. What is over here? Look at the, look at the brave donkeys amongst the crocs. I'd be darned. <laughs> Look at the huge lid. Game save. I'm here. I'm here. That is so, so cool. And those guys just make the fish oil. So pretty, pretty much works as a fishery, but uh, for the fish oil. We would need one more, but uh, 
Yeah, it's a little bit of a of a messed up situation because uh, placing one more of those guys, they won't place nicely along the coastline. Not that it matters that much to me. Deep inside, I guess it does. Okay, add it over here like this, and now we should have balanced out the production. So we're gonna be producing. Uh, we got four of those, four plantations, and four of those uh, fried uh, kitchen buildings. So what is next? You've got food, right? have never seen what real work is like. Who's sombreros? Okay, you need ponchos. However, police station. Let's maybe add one of those guys as well. Somewhere about um, here. A rod? I guess the police buildings are the same as uh, as in the old world. Or maybe not. Maybe they are different. <laughs> Just look at this. Which button? This button. I'm a simple man. I've said it before, I will say it again. This game is absolutely gorgeous. Also, a chapel has been unlocked. Okay, this is much uh, much more of a decent size. Let's maybe just put that next to the market building for the moment. Like this. Okay, maybe, maybe not. Maybe let's do this. Uh, boom. Like this. Perfect. It's a little small chapel. And the community is definitely growing. We have 5,364 people all the way around, around our places, which is not bad, not bad at all. But uh, how about how about those guys, the ponchus? Uh, ponchu does require alpaca farms. So this alpaca farm, if I would just place it here, that is four fields. Okay, so four fields on this guy, and they are pretty much the same size as the sheep fields, right? But we need four instead of three, okay? check and then we need the Poncho Darner which is uh, a huge building okay that is a little bit bigger than I had anticipated so let's maybe do this let's um, just in case we're gonna put more people on this side let's do this boom all the way to the end over here and I guess we're gonna just boom it up like that and then let's think about this uh, the ponchos so let's go Oh no! Oh no! It's over here. I mean, it's not that terrible. Just a few buildings, right? Uh, what is happening over here? <laughs> what? What? Where did those guys come from? Is this the tourists? Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, this is this is insane. I know the city is on fire, but this. This gathering of people is out of this world. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, let's go uh, fire station. Mobilize. Are we in range? No, we're not. How about this over here? Mobilize, please. Send out everyone you can. Pretty please hurry. Who the crap are you guys? So crazy. Okay, you guys distinguish that. I believe in my fire force. They should do fine. Oh no. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is really bad. Oh no, everybody, what the crap has happened? What have I done to deserve this? Okay. So, Benti is in love with us, okay? Or Bente Jorgensen. She loves us. Xingxing is in war with us, and also Arthur Gasparo. I don't really have many trade ships in the old world, so I'm just gonna go back over here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna just put them in safety. Let's go over here. Uh, we do have a warship, that is perfect. Uh, the clipper is in port. Let's just move that further in. Uh, this guy's gonna be guarding, and we also have Mosquito, which is Mosquito is over here, all by himself. Xingxing! Xingxing! Is that Xing Xing? That is wolf. No! Xing Xing. I will revenge Mosquito. No freaking way. No way. No, 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 no. Get over here. Holy smokes. This is really, really bad. 
I don't think I've got time to build those because that's going to take a while for them to construct it as well. But I'm going to set up myself one here for the future. Like this. Get that all the way in. Don't you worry, guys. Don't you worry. Payback will be sweet. Mobilize, please. Where is where is where is the ship? Where is my ship? Man, Fortitude, you are big and beautiful, but uh, you are so, 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 so slow. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Look at all those cannonballs flying out. Ching Ching Dai. <sighs> How are we gonna do this? Okay, this gamble is almost toast. Okay, run after it. <laughs> okay, we need to renovate that. We need to rebuild that. Can this be renovated? I can't because Ireland is under siege. Okay, this was a little bit terrible. The only problem with those guys... Oh, it's burning up! Look at this! So I guess Island Defenses, we should be holding... Oh no, look at the range of my cannons. Boom! Oh, it's not Xing Xing, it's Artur Gasparov. Who's this? Xing Xing. A ceasefire? Okay, I can do a ceasefire. Xing Xing, did you sink my vessel? I believe Xing Xing was responsible for the mosquito, the sinking of mosquito. <laughs> Xing Xing. How are you doing over here, Xing Xing? Oh, she's throwing some punches. Oh, Xing Xing, did I do that? How are we doing? Yeah, we would need to get ourselves some uh, some repairs going on this guy. I don't like this especially much, that he's got his little ship over here. This is not, not an amazing ship, but it's still a punching force. I did sink one of his vessels, so that makes me happy. But uh, let's, uh, let's leave this place. Let's go to the new world. And what was I doing? I was doing the ponchos, right? Yes. So let's see, alpaca farms. Let's do them... Um, let me see, what would be the lo logical way to do it? Maybe this, you might be, but, 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 uh, and then we do one, two, three, four farms. <laughs> Look at all the packers. And then we do, then we do one more and we put it, um, okay, sorry, thinking in progress. I'm just trying to count it out nicely. Would that be the thing? So let's say I would do one, two, three, and four. That gives a possibility to have a road in between. That connects nicely to that, so there's gonna be like, you know, grid patterns. You know how I am for grid patterns. And then making one more, exactly the same on the other side. And in the far end, having like the production buildings. Oh no, you know what? Let's do this. It's gonna be a little bit maybe fugly, but let's do this. Let's do ourselves a poncho darner. Like this. One more like that. In between those guys, we will have a small warehouse. Technically not needed because those guys will be bringing their own stuff back and forth. But just in case it is, we're gonna have this guy. Put uh, two more residential areas over here. Um, okay. They take 30 seconds to produce one uh, alpaca wall thingy, right? They take 30 seconds to build one. So we would need, if we want to build more, this is balanced out as it is. But if you want to do more of those guys, I could maybe do more houses in those little spaces, and maybe like in the future we can have some 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 palm trees here or a park of some type. But this is a huge production of ponchos. You're tying the knot. Never. <laughs> I think. But look at those alpacas. How adorable. And the ponchos are being created. A family company since 1830. Traditional ponchos. Oh my goodness. Cash-wise, still pretty decent. We have monkey crab and we do have the nifty mullet. <laughs> I love the names. So I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave myself the nifty mullet on this side. 
And uh, Man Monkey Crab is gonna sail to the other side, to the main harbor, and be parked here. So if anybody wants to come with war with me, you're more than welcome. Relationships? Alto Kasparov? Oh, looky looky at my cookie, my military forces are getting greater! Also, what we should do is maybe get ourselves... How exp I mean, I don't think they're that expensive, are they? The small gunboats. How's the upkeep on the gunboats? They don't really punch like a... Like, they don't really hold much of a punch. But they do have a little bit of hit points. Damage per second is 21. Damage per second is 53. Let's queue up ourselves. Uh, what's the upkeep, by the way? Did I check that? Upkeep is 25. Let's get two uh, of those guys down here and two of those guys down here. So, okay, maybe just one for the moment because we're lacking cannons. We're gonna have a few extra gunboats just patrolling the coasts, I guess. In war times, that is. But let's just go back over here. Bello Vertical! Oh, we do have a mission in the church. Let's just wait with that. Next thing up here in the production chain would be to get ourselves some rum produced. We also would need to get the bricks transported to here. So that's something we will do. But first things first, how is the rum looking? Uh, lumber huts, okay. We do have sugarcane plantations and the rum distilleries. Please don't leave your crate unattended, sir. Okay, that is huge. We do have the lumber huts, I guess. But we can make more always. But uh, let's say I would place... Uh, how do you place those guys? Doesn't really matter, I guess. It's different size. Hmm. One over here. One over here. How many fields? <laughs> 128. Okay, so let's do this and let's take it as far up as we can. Like that. Okay. Don't don't judge this. It might not be the prettiest layout of fields. But um, it will have to do for the moment. Okay, 30 seconds and 30 seconds. So we need two of the rum distilleries as well. Okay, so let's do one and two, I guess. Does this work? I think it does work. So those guys will be making the rum. And that means we can start exploring rum. Let's see here. Uh, Endeavor, whereabouts are you? Sweetheart, you over here. Let's sail back to ports. If I would set up a trade route... Okay, let me see here. Shared ship would move goods between your islands. If I would take this guy... And I would... Um, pick up stuff... Look at Gasparov. He's spreading like a wildfire over here. I'm gonna start trading... Rum... From this place. And we're gonna go world map. The old world. And all the way to... Liquid. Like that. And the amount of rum, 80. So the cost per route is going to be 50 credits, which is hardly nothing. Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, we will have charter ships running uh, rum from, uh, from uh, the new world to the old world. So that means we don't really have to use our own ships. Well, we're going to lose out a little bit of cash on them. Oh my gosh. Look at all those people You're over here. The Never. <laughs> and they're super happy. Let's see here. How are we doing on the ponchos now? Ponchos? <laughs> quite quite nice. We can start trading them. But we, what we need to do is go back, get the clipper from the old world, and uh, get him here with some... Uh, what are you going to call it? With some, with some bricks. To upgrade all the warehouses and build more depots. Or depots. Because we're reaching the limit pretty much on everything over here in, in the new world. But it's so fantastic looking. I like this. Don't ask me how this operates. But this lid. Up with a lark this morning, I was. What a cauldron. <laughs> I have no idea what's happening over here. You know what, let's just end this episode on this. Because this is absolutely crazy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. A little bit of a hectic episode. But it can only go to get better from this point on, I guess. So do hit the like button if you guys did enjoy. And I will see you guys in the next episode. I have no idea what's happening. I guess people might be happy. Or they might be unhappy. But uh, there was a lot of people in Liquic. See you guys in the next episode. Kralis over now. Have a very, very, very nice day. Bye-bye.